need it. What is up, y'all? I'm Tyson with Open Range Studios, and this is one of those bucket list photography opportunities. I'm talking sunny day at the Cape Disappointment Lighthouse, king tide waves rolling in. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. This is looking way too much like some photographer's wet dream or something. And it kind of was. But before we get into how perfect that was, we got to talk about how crazy it was getting down there the night before. So this whole thing started a few months earlier when I came across some images of lighthouses, probably sparked some memories of me back when I was a kid going, going to the coast and had me thinking I'd like to go get some pictures of my own. So as time went on, we came up on the final window of the season for King Tide Waves. And me and my son decided to book a hotel in Il Waco. We lined it up with the day with the, had the best weather, but we didn't know how crazy the weather was gonna be the night before. Driving in the dark with heavy rain, tree branches hitting our car, cars swerving off the road. We show up at the hotel room, find out there's like power outages all over the state, property damage, trees falling. We go to bed with wind and rain just slamming our windows and we wake up to nothing but blue skies and sunshine. We throw our gear in the ride, make our way down to Waikiki Beach, which is packed with photographers. Luckily, we found a spot, and this view is epic. around a bit, scoping the angles, chatting with people, taking it all in. Now it's time to grab the camera, snap some pics. like this for me the hardest thing to decide is when to shoot photos and when to shoot videos it's time to shoot videos After we capture an insane amount of content, we head out to the spit to kind of check out the view from there. And then we go on a little hike up the Lewis and Clark Trail. We found these old military tunnels that lead to a pretty amazing perspective of the Pacific Ocean. Feeling like a successful mission at this point. 